Hello guys, I'm your host Ali Khan. Today we are going to learn about uh, recurring entries. Recurring entries are the entries which have occur um, every month, uh, just like uh, IT expense uh, charged by the head office uh, to your branch, like thousand dollar IT charges for every month. HR expenses, five hundred dollars every month rent expense building maintenance fees $250 so uh, expenses which are uh, occurring every month with the same debit credit accounts and the same amount so these are the recurring entries so one way is that every month you will enter it in your system manually or you can make a recurring entry and uh, play this entry in SAP or you can make an account assignment template as well but uh, recurring entry is the proper way to record these entries because at the end of a month or during a month you were so busy by allo uh, making allocations and other stuff so it's better you can make a recurring entries and just run every month so for this uh, there are a few codes we, uh, we will use FBD1 is the uh, code in which we record an entry record an entry doesn't mean that you will post as well we just record entry in that code and f.15 in that you will see all the lists of uh, recurring entries in which you made maybe you you made three entries one for it expense one for rent expense one for hr expense so all the entries you made you, you will check it here so what happened when you make an entry in fbd1 system will generate a document number like i did uh, just for uh, last time i did so system generated this one so now when i make uh, the entry the system will generate the next one it could be most probably this uh, and this could be the uh, document number so the system will generate this number something like this so this number you have to save it somewhere and uh, during the month or month end whenever you want to run it f.14 you will use this number or you can simply uh, if you don't have this thing or remember this thing you can run this report f.15 in that you will see all the recurring entries and document number so from there you can pick and to execute it you have to go f.14 enter this one and run it just you have to mention the month in which month you have to uh, want to enter it and in the end we just check the ledger account so to just uh, give the uh, check the outcome of the process so we start uh, with entering a recurring entry in GL. So, if, uh, either you can use the codes or path is there, you in user menu, you can go accounting, then financial accounting, general ledger in document entry, you will go and at the end you will find this reference document. In there you can add this one, FD, FBD1. In that you will store or save the recurring entry. That's it. You are not posting it. To post it, you will go to F.15, you will see how many entries are there, select the one you want to post it. You need a document number, you take the document number from uh, F.15, then you will come in F.14, put this document number, mention the month in which you want to record it, and that's it. It's very simple. So we start with recording the reversal entry. So FBD1, first run will be on 1st January 2023rd and the last run will be 31st December 2023. Every month we want to run, if you want to run after 3 months, you can uh, select 3. So every 3rd month it will be run, run date 1st of every month then document type in 
it's uh, you can just take essay for general ledger you can make your own and document type for the recurring entry and uh, select that one is here and for all debit entry you will select 40 account uh, we will use any account expense account I think that's the one we were using yeah 41102 and this is the bank account we will choose in there enter it just gives the warning that it's in pass so entry we will use 880 Credit entry is 50. Any credit account, use this bank account. 880. That's it. Save it. So, see this number, document number has generated. You can also check from there display this is the document number either you can s copy and save it somewhere or you will run f.15 so this is the number same number so debit expense credit so the system only save this entry nothing posted not parked it just stored in the database so now we'll check in the list f.15 that how many entries we uh, we have made in this year so just go to this select your company code fiscal year 2023 let's see so in 2023 these are the 10 11 12 13 you uh, made these uh, reversal entries so you will select this one and uh, run this or if you want to run in one time you just give the range from 10 to 13 so in our example we go with this 13 one so to execute it we go here document number you have to mention it here if uh, all documented number you want to run you can give the range from 10 to 13 fiscal year is mandatory Settlement period want to run for the January zero one three and it's we can say that it's B one see so, uh, session B one was created so it is only created not posted to post it we have to go to system services badge input session you have to select your badge b1 then process any option you can select but uh, we go with this this will give more in-depth information so see these are things are you just have to uh, press enter four or five times next run system is telling that next run will be on first of february so uh, in february it will say first of march so every time this is a document number you have to just press uh, enter many times so same when your session completed when it is done so you can now check the FS, uh, FS10 and the GL account and then this is our account this is our bank account either bank or expense account you can see see on general first this is the entry 880 so uh, yeah, now we are now we will run for the February there will be entry here and so on so we go back this financial accounting in 
general ledger periodic processing recurring and execute company process wdr document number is document number will be same for all run fiscal year is 2023 settlement period is now 01.02 february.023 and now any badge name you can write so run it session is completed means only session is completed you have to do this step to make a post so badge input session select b2 process process see the next one will be on first of march so it will go like this just press enter button four or five times so gl fs 10n you have to run check the ledger this account run it so in february you can see that entry is coming so 